Let's go back. My mode, same thing. Nice screens, different colors. Nicely done for 2021, guys. Now, wait a minute, what's this new button right here? Well, hi everyone and welcome to our Sunday Coffee with Conti show. My name is Rick Conti and this is our Corvette channel. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and thank you again everyone for your recent Christmas wishes via text, email, comments on the channel. It's always great to hear from you and I hope you too had a wonderful Christmas. So what do we have here? We got a couple of C8 Corvettes, this one being a 2020 car going to our past customer Gary, shipping soon to his home in Florida. And this is a 2021 Corvette hardtop convertible going to our past customer Steve in Michigan, also shipping to his home in Florida very, very soon. But looking at these two cars, can you tell the differences between a 2020 and a 2021? No, not really. Unless you get the stripe package, there are some new colors available on the full length stripes. If you choose to get those and they've now introduced for 2021 a hood stinger stripe, there is a Jake Racing Stingray R stripe that is not available just yet, but that'll be coming very, very soon. But really the only outside changes that you'll notice are the two new colors, silver flare metallic and red mist metallic. A lot of people have been asking about the Red Mist. They are accepted to production control, anticipated to be built sometime in early to mid-January, and we'll share those with you guys on the channel as soon as they arrive. But what I want to do today is look inside the 2021 Corvette and show you some of those unpublished changes today on Coffee with Conti. You didn't think I was going to bring the coffee cup inside the car, did you? <laughs> quick let's look at the 2021 owner's manual actually I've never really showed you guys this and what you get in this packet nice embossed Corvette emblem there uh, I looked inside already there's nothing different there just the two manuals but on the other side you get this nice cloth to keep your infotainment screen clean XM channel guide so you can easily go through those channels and find the music that you like and here's some information on the National Corvette Museum some stuff on your mobile one oil from track to street, 040 oil. All right, this is important. You guys ask a lot about the Ron Fellows Spring Mountain Driving School. Here's a reminder inside your owner's manual. We have a year after taking delivery to use this. There's a toll free number so you can call. Just give them your VIN number once you've taken delivery and you can schedule this class. You get a discount on that. It's about $1,000 for two days. GM picks up the other money. Incredible experience a great way to learn and know about your car, especially in this mid-engine design. And then over here, you've got basically condensed versions of the owner's manual. This one's gonna be the performance features, and this one is basically getting to know how to use all this stuff on your new Corvette. They go through all the different screens. This is great. I like stuff with pictures. <laughs> it, does, it helps a lot, doesn't it? Now, the first thing you'll notice as soon as you get into a 2021 Corvette and you start the car, if you do not have your seatbelt buckled, it will remind you and you will not be able to put it in gear. <laughs> not going anywhere for 20 seconds. That's the buckle to drive feature that's new for 2021. It's basically a friendly reminder. When you get into the car, buckle your seatbelt and then immediately you can go into gear. If you don't like this feature, yes, you can turn it off. So go to your home screen here of your infotainment system and hit settings. Go to the vehicle tab in the upper right hand corner and right up top is buckle to drive and you can actually turn that feature off by simply tapping it like that. So when the new model year Corvettes come in, I always am kind of nosy. I get in and look around at everything, all the switches, all the buttons, some of the different screens. I've got some new stuff to show you right here. I look down and through here, didn't really, didn't really notice any major changes. Even the front lift and the front camera buttons look the same. Remember in your front lift, when you hit this, it'll raise the vehicle up. But if your door's open and you go to hit your front lift, will not work. You can see there you get that message up on the screen. 
The other thing is, if you actually raise the vehicle, now it's raising because I hit that button, and you forget to put it down, once you reach 24 miles an hour, it will lower all by itself. Now, one thing that is the same for 2020 and 2021, your dash display is already set up from Chevy and linked to drive mode. So when you turn your mode selector, your dash screen displays will change. Right now we're in the touring mode. If I go to the right, go to sport, you can see the dash display change up. Turn it one more time to track mode. Now it doesn't rotate and go over like it did in C7. So you gotta go back to the left, sport, touring, and there's my mode and there's the weather mode. You can see those screens basically change the data over there on the left-hand side. Now, don't forget about one of my favorite buttons. That is the Z mode button on the left-hand side of your steering wheel. And there are some new features in the 2021 C8 Corvette when you hit that. First hit it, you do get its own screen for the Z mode, but look at the message on the right-hand side. Z mode is active. If you hit it again, you'll go right to PTM. That stands for Performance Traction Management. So when you hit it again, now you're into PTM. By turning your mode selector, you can adjust those settings within the computer. All kinds of unique settings that are great for different race situations, your driving situations, your driving ability. Consult your owner's manual to see what all of these settings are. So you pick the right one that's gonna be suited for the driving scenario that you're in. Also your driving ability. Great feature, nice quick way to hit that PTM now is hitting this two times within the Z mode and using your mode selector to go through the different settings within the driver information center. Now, speaking of driver customization, go back to your home screen, go into settings. This is new for 2021. Go into the vehicle tab. You have a drive mode customization. We don't have that on the 2020. Here's what it looks like now. So you still go into the settings button, vehicle tab, and then they have an independent Z mode and my mode button. And when you tap those, right there, you just kind of tap it and then you decide where you want to go with it. Here's how it is on the 2021. And we're back in the 2021 C8 Corvette. So tap the drive mode customization. There's where your Z mode and my mode buttons are. And when you tap those, you get a nice look. Look at this new screen that they've got for 2021. Just tap this and change your steering feel, change your suspension. PTM is inactive. It lets you know when you're messing around with this stuff. Here's your engine shift, how you want to do that. Brake feel, oh, better apply the changes going too fast and you actually have PTM settings over here now or you can do it in the Z mode as we were just showing you let's go back my mode same thing nice screens different colors nicely done for 2021 guys now wait a minute what's this new button right here well, let's turn it on and check it out basically what this does is allow you to see all those screens we were just looking at in Z mode and my mode when you have this visualization feature turned on, as you're going through the mode selector, it'll show you what all of your settings are in each mode that you're in. There's your sport mode settings. There's your track mode settings. Touring mode settings. My mode. And weather mode settings. You can change all this stuff. All new for 2021 C8 Corvette. This is pretty cool. I like the graphics. I like the ease of operation. I like the colors. Really, really neat, guys. So if you want to see all that screen, make sure this feature is turned on right here. And you get to that through the Drive Mode Customization button. Then, as always, I'm playing around with all the other buttons in here, and I didn't really see any other changes to talk about. And another new feature for 2021 Corvette is the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now in 2020, we already have the wireless charging. So when your phone's sitting in there, this icon will have a lightning bolt letting you know that it is charging like that right there. But first let's sync the phone. I'm gonna show you a quick demo on the wireless Apple CarPlay feature. All right, we're not plugged in and we're hooked up to CarPlay. Let's send a quick message. Text Ryan Conti. What do you want to say? Good morning, buddy. Dad's still filming for today's upload. Do you think the Cleveland Browns are going to win today? Your message to Ryan Conti says, Good morning, buddy. Dad's still filming for today's upload. Do you think the Cleveland Browns are going to win today? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay. 
consent. Now, I'll be surprised if he actually replies, but you get the gist of how to use the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Great new feature for the 2021 C8 Corvette. Now, a small change on your radio station. So let's show you what it looks like when you change your radio on your 2020 Corvette, and then we'll jump back into the 2021. So here are the 2020, as you scroll through, you can see you just get a description of what station number you're listening to, maybe the title of the artist. You do have a direct tune button on XM radio. Here's some of the changes for the 2021. And just another small change is when you go into your audio tab and how you look at your radio stations. You got an HD radio button over here now. Uh, you still can change AM, FM, XM, or drop down and you can pick up your Bluetooth or any connected devices in that regard. That all stays the same. But when you hit the browse button, that's a little different. You actually can pick a category, update a station list. Let's go into that category. So you can hit pop or all categories, okay? Notice on FM you have a tune button so you can go direct tune, okay? You have that on XM for the 2020s as well. But when I go to the XM band, I no longer have the tune button. And notice you have some new graphics now on the artist that you're listening to. And as you go through the channels, well, look at this changes up and kind of gives you a description of each channel and then you can scroll through them like that that's pretty cool now if you're listening to country music it gives you a related button so you can listen to other channels that are related to what you're listening to and then there they pop up this way and you can scroll through and check some of those out that you may not be aware of that's pretty neat classic vinyl related content there's the bridge 70s 80s rock 70s that's pretty neat, huh? And I love the graphics. Again, new graphics for the 2021 Corvette. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Now, the only problem I see with that phone holder back there where it does the wireless charging and now the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for 2021 is you forget your phone and you leave it in there like I just did. And yes, we're the channel, in case you heard about it, Yes, I'm the guy that counted every Corvette emblem on the C8 Corvette Coupe in this pad right here where your phone rests. There's over 3,000 Corvette logos there. That's right, that's some of the fun, nutty stuff that we love to share with you guys right here on our Corvette channel. Looks like we're empty. Guess the show's over. Yes, that is going to be our upload today for Coffee with Conte. I hope you guys enjoyed that, talking about some small changes from the 2020 Corvette into the 2021. And I really like that infotainment interface screen with the Z mode, the My mode. When you're turning that mode selector, you get an idea exactly what you're changing on the car with that beautiful color display. And I think in the manner in which they share it now in 2021, you feel feel like you're participating in the driving experience just a little bit more. And before somebody asks in the comments down below, I'm assuming this is a combination of hardware and software, which means it is not compatible for your 2020 C8 Corvette. If we find out something different, we'll let you know on the channel right away. Support us if you would please by subscribing, thumbs up the video, continue to make those comments down below. Thanks for watching today, guys. We'll see you soon.